Hello everyone, I am Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and today I'll be showing you how to install tear-offs on your goggles. All right everyone, so today I'm gonna to show you step-by-step -step how you install tear-offs on your goggles. Now if you're new to this, you're not quite sure what tear-offs are designed for, well, they're designed to help keep the rider's vision clear. And the way they work is once you have them installed, if you're riding, okay, if you have mud, dust, debris, water, whatever it may be, gather up on your goggle lens, well, you can peel one tear off off at a time. And by doing that, we'll give the rider clear vision and that will keep it clear until you need to pull off your next tear off. Now, when it comes to a race situation, I will say I think these are a must have on your goggles. Definitely in a race situation, you wanna make sure you keep your vision clear, but also it can benefit any rider. If you're just gonna be doing a weekend ride with a couple of buddies, they can help keep your vision clear. Or also, a lot of riders like to use them just to help protect the lens on their goggle. So before we show you how to install these, well, I'm just gonna talk about the different types of tear-offs that are available. So the first is gonna be standard, and the other is gonna be laminated. So first, let's talk about standard tear-offs. Now standard tear-offs are gonna be the less expensive route and you're gonna install these one at a time. But you need to keep in mind that standard tear-offs are gonna be thicker than laminated. And because they are thicker, well you're not gonna be able to get as many on your goggle before it will actually start to cloud up your vision. So for me personally, if I'm using a standard tear-off, I can usually do three, maybe four, before I feel like it starts to cloud up my vision a little bit. So that is something you do wanna keep in mind. But the benefits to the standard tear-off, other than the lower price, is well, if you only think you're gonna need one, two, maybe three tear-offs, if you're out riding, you can just install three and you don't feel like you're gonna be wasting any extra. So that is a nice perk to having the standard tear-offs. So now, let's talk about laminated tear-offs. So laminated tear-offs, they are gonna be a little bit more expensive, but they do have some big advantages. Now, laminated tear-offs are gonna come in stacks of seven in most cases. However, there are some goggle manufacturers that make them in stacks of three for certain goggles. But the big advantage to these is that they're a lot thinner, so it allows you to run a lot more tear-offs without clouding up your vision. In fact, I see a lot of riders in race situations who will run up to 21 or three stacks of tear-off, and you still have nice, clear vision. Another big advantage to these is that, well, since they are bound together, okay, you're not gonna get dust and debris in between the individual tear-offs. So let's say you're out riding or in a race situation, and you only use three, maybe four tear-offs. Well, what you can do in most situations is take the rest of the stack off, and then you can actually reuse it at a later date. So some big advantages to laminated tear-offs. But now, let's talk about how you get these installed. Now when it comes to install, okay, first let's talk about goggles and the posts that you're gonna be using. So goggles that are equipped to use tear-offs are gonna have tear-off posts. You're gonna have two on the lens. Now in some cases, like this Scott Prospect, they use two on each side of the lens, that's just their design. But you're gonna have two on the lens and then you're gonna have a third post. Now for some goggles like this Racecraft from 100%, Okay, you're gonna have that third post that's actually built into the outrigger. But with these Scots, and this is true for a lot of other goggles, the third post is gonna be this clip that you're gonna install on the actual goggle strap. So once you have everything ready, make sure clean off the goggle. Okay, you want your lens nice and clean. You don't want any dirt and debris on there because that can scratch up the, the tear-offs and also scratch up your lens. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take your first tear-off. Okay, and you're gonna notice too, one thing I wanna remind you of, with the goggles that have that third post built into the outrigger, it's always going to be on the left side. So if you have a goggle where you're attaching that clip on the strap, make sure to put it on the left side. And the reason for that is you always wanna pull the tear off with your left hand. That way you can always keep your, th your right hand on your throttle. So what you're gonna do, I always like to start out on the right side. Okay, you're just gonna install it on the post on the right side of the lens. And then you're gonna install on the left side. Very simple. Once you've done that, you're gonna notice that on this tab, you have three more holes. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take the hole that's closest to the lens itself, and you're going to install that on your third tab, whether it be on the tear-off post, or on the outrigger, or on the tab on the strap. So once you've done that, now you're ready to install your second tear-off. And keep in mind also that the process for laminated tear-offs, it's gonna be pretty much the exact same. I'll show you here in just a second. So now you're gonna take your second tear-off, you're gonna put it on the goggle, so if you're installing laminated tear-offs, you're only gonna have to do this once because they all come as basically one stack or one tear-off. But you're gonna put on your second tear-off here. Now once you've done that, this is very important, okay? Before you put on that third post, we need to fold that first tear-off over. And the reason we fold it over, as you can see with these Oakley air brakes here, okay, we've already installed a full set of seven tear-offs for a laminated stack. 
Now you want to make sure that you're folding these over because when you are riding and you go to grab a tear off and pull it off, you don't want to risk the chance of grabbing more than one tear off. I've seen riders do that a lot where they go to grab a tear off, they grab one, two, three, I've even seen riders grab an entire stack of tear offs and pull them all off at one time and you definitely don't want to do that. So by folding the tab over on itself will help prevent that. So what you're going to do before you attach the second tear off, you're going to take this tab from our first, you're going to see the second hole here we're going to fold that back over that third tear off post. And then you're gonna have one more big hole here. I'm going to take this, fold it back over, so I'm folding that tab over on itself twice. Then I'm gonna take the second tear off on top, and now I'm going to put it over that third tear off post. And you will see that once I've done that, now it's holding that first tab down completely. So when I go to grab this tab on the outside, I'm not risking the chance of grabbing that first tear off. And so there you go. That's how you install tear offs. Pretty straightforward, very simple. Now once you have these installed, like I mentioned earlier, as you're out riding, okay, if you get any mud, dust, or debris on your lens, you want to have clear vision again, you're just going to take that left tab with your left hand, you're going to pull on it, and doing that, you'll pull off this tear off. Now you can see that next tab has popped up, so that's going to be ready for you to grab the next time you need to pull it and get some clear vision again. If you guys have any questions about any of the steps that we talked about today, well, make sure to leave your comments below. We will get those questions answered. And remember, we have a giant selection of goggles to choose from on our website, so make sure to check those out. You can do that by clicking on the link or heading over to RockyMountAtVMC.com. Remember, guys, orders over $75 ship free. If you like this how-to video and you want to see more like it, along with great product spotlights, our top five videos, bike builds, and bike reviews, well, make sure to click and subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.